what would be some of the pros in running an online business versus having it physically in person? Yeah, so I think uh, as a starting point, it really does come to, down to some people's personalities. So if you're a highly social person and you enjoy physically and emotionally connecting with people one-on-one, then physical-based business is going to serve you better, right? Consider people that are, um, you know, uh, baristas and people that work in cafes and stuff, right? Try to do that online. It's like you just, you've lost all the sense of feeling and connection that comes from that work. So I think part of it is understanding who you are as a person. Some people are really well suited to online introverts. Be fantastic for online because you don't have to speak to anybody. You don't have to see anybody. It's all done digitally. I think that's where the world's headed anyway, right? So there's a couple of real benefits. Number one, if you're running a digital online business, in many cases, you don't have to pay for rent. You may not even have to pay for staff. If you've got a digital business that's online, you can employ people anywhere in the world. And there's certainly much place, many places that are cheaper for labor than wherever you currently live. So that's really exciting from an online perspective. It also means because you built an online business, you're a global business. So if the local market that you're going through or you're in right now goes through a, a negative economic time, well, you're not leveraged to that market. And I'll give you an example. So we obviously as you guys know, run this business. My father runs a real estate company based here in WA and specifically in a suburb called Bibber Lake. So he's limited to whatever happens inside of Bibber Lake unless he wants to grow a bigger team or expand his offices more nationally, but that's not his ambition. So the WA housing market over the last four or five years has been really, really poor. It's getting good now, but it's been really poor. So he's really struggled over the last couple of years. And to be fair, if we were only just doing work in WA, we would have struggled too. But when you've got leverage in terms of um, we're in you know, Perth, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, Darwin, uh, ACT, and also New Zealand, it doesn't matter. Australia can be going through really tough times. I'll just go to New Zealand. I'll market our services over there. So we can pick up this business and put it anywhere, right? So that is really, really helpful. There's also an element as well, which is that when COVID hits, if we wanted to pause or stop, a lot of our commitments were just software commitments. We didn't have expensive rent or big overheads. We weren't in a position where we had huge amounts of stock. You know, we're running a very lean business because we're in a position where we build everything to be global, to be able to be put into a back of a suitcase or on a, on, on hand luggage on a plane. So there's a lot of real positives as part of that. However, on, equally on all of those things, if you're not a disciplined person, if you're not a well-organized person, if you're not a very well-structured person, you're going to really struggle online. Because there's, there's a sense of, and to give you an example of this, you know, some people shouldn't rent. They should have a mortgage because there's no way they'd ever save the money to have a house if they didn't have to pay a mortgage every week, right? Like some people are like that. Some people can afford to rent and still save. They've got that discipline. So then in that case, you go, well, geez, you'd be crazy to have a house. You'd be better off just renting and, and investing into something different, right? But you get the reference point. Some people need to have a big office and stock in order to just stay focused enough, like money and and financial responsibility that comes with a physical business is a good motivator and a good leveler for a lot of people. So if you are that type of person, that's also important. For me, I'm a huge person for physical interaction. So I love that we've got an office. I love that we get to see people face to face. Um, I love the live events of that as well. And I really miss that in an online environment. It's not the same. Uh, but it is quite rewarding that we get to see so many amazing people from different parts of the world. But if I had to choose, I'd much rather do physical face-to-face -face stuff. It's just very expensive. It doesn't create a great opportunity for us to grow a business. And also, it's not a very smart model. Like if you were designing it without the human component, you'd of course go digital. Like why would you even bother doing anything physical? Also, another advantage of doing things digital is that because it's digital and everything is digital, it can be all streamlined and automated through technology. So a lot of things that happen physically in businesses today are done through physical manual inputs and outputs. Whereas if you leverage tech, because everything's done online, well, all of the conversations are trackable. Like even just imagine you have a face-to-face -face meeting. Someone's gonna take the notes of that, transcribe them, upload them. You know, you've gotta have some sort of meetings, right? But if you were to do it digitally, well, that can automatically be getting transcribed while you're having that Zoom conversation. So there's just a lot more upside for going digital, but it really does suit and serve certain people better than it does for others. And obviously there are some businesses that are obviously always going to be physical based businesses. Like you're not gonna get a virtual massage. Right? Well, maybe you, I don't know what type of massage you guys are getting, to, but you know, you get the idea. Um, you know, I'm gonna always gonna get my coffee physically from somewhere. Uh, of course, I might get it delivered, so that's incorporating a little bit of the digital, but I'm still going to get my um, my coffee from there. But my suggestion to those businesses is 
don't run a purely physical business, see if you can do a hybrid based model. So for example, one of the key problems for many people's businesses, and if you're running a cafe, I'll tell you about an app that you guys could probably use, is Skip. It's an app. So one of the problems is I gotta go uh, order and stand in the queue, take time out of my day to go and stand in the queue, wait for the coffee. Well, Skip, you can order and pay before you can get there. It tells you when it's ready, you just go and collect it. So ideally we're seeing more of, more of that efficiency. So what I would do is take your traditional business and I would overlay tech infrastructure to improve the client experience. And of course, if you're doing that digitally, you're already automatically doing it. So that'd probably be my big things across the board.